Not only do I struggle with blackheads, I also noticed that my legs have these dark spots on them. After doing a bit of research, I found out that I'm not the only one. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Shade and today I'm going to show you guys how I got rid of my strawberry legs. After doing some research, I found out that I'm not the only one who struggles with what they call it, chicken skin or a prettier way to say it is strawberry legs. So the medical term is keratosis pilaris and those black seed like dots that you see on your legs are basically a harboring of dirt oils and bacteria after shaving if you didn't know this condition is not dangerous at all it's purely for cosmetic appearance however like i said before it's it's literally just for cosmetic appearance it doesn't really bother me that much but i just always wondered why my legs have these dots especially after shaving and then after my research i found out that there is a way of getting rid of these black dots from the legs and i'm going to show you that today so the first thing i do is i wash my legs of course i do this while i'm showering so i yeah i cleanse my skin before i put any products or anything at all on my skin and you want to use a gentle shower wash um of your choice of course i use the keras lotus and copaiba oil it's so smooth on my skin i really love this product you can use dove as well that's a really really um good shower cream to use to get rid of all that dirt oils um from the surface of your skin <laughs> So the next thing I do is I exfoliate and this is probably the key step that is going to get rid of your strawberry legs. Of course you can use any exfoliant of your choice. Today I'm going to use a DIY exfoliator and all I do is I mix coffee, some brown sugar, coconut oil and virgin olive oil together. I absolutely love 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 this DIY product like it's my best um, exfoliator to use you can obviously get some from the drugstore they have very cheap ones that you can you guys can so guys my DIY exfoliator is literally just a guesstimate I don't really measure anything I just pretty much guesstimate everything you don't want to go overboard with exfoliating. You want to exfoliate at least once per week. I exfoliate every other day. And exfoliating your skin is basically preventing your pores from getting clogged up because the oils and the dirt and bacteria is what causes your pores to get clogged. So if you exfoliate, obviously you guys will prevent that from happening. And therefore you will not have strawberry skin. So the next thing I do is I then shave my skin and I use a hair conditioner to do so because it's so much easier on my skin. It's so it makes my skin so much softer. It makes the hairs a lot softer, and I just feel like it makes the hairs so easier to be removed. The one I use is the Gillette Venus Tropical Razor, and that one is just so so good. Like it has this soft bit like on the edges and it just feels so much it feels so much better against my skin and i'm very clumsy and i tend to cut my skin a lot so i prefer using those ones when i do decide to shave if i'm not waxing or using creams to get rid of the hairs from my skin <laughs> reason for me using a hair conditioner because the shaving cream makes my skin 
really really dry so yeah for me i definitely prefer to use a conditioner plus it's less money spending we always have hair conditioners at home so i would yeah it's so much easier to just use your hair conditioner because for me personally it's so much better than using a shaving cream and of course after i've done shaving my legs i then rinse them off and then i go in with my moisturizer and this the moisturizer that i'm using is another diy of mine and this one i made at home with shea butter and we all know that shea butter is so glorious to the skin and to the hair like well, hey whoever made shea butter thank you when i use this on my skin my, my skin feels so smooth like so smooth so soft and it looks so moisturized <laughs> So the final step is using a vitamin E oil. This step is optional but I just love how glowy it makes my skin look. I mean it's summer now and I love when I go outside and my skin is all glowy and then when the sun hits my skin is even more glowy. Yes guys this is what I do to get rid of my strawberry skin. I wasn't that bothered about it it's just something that I've learned to live with but obviously now that i found a way to get rid of it i'm very much happy and i love the way my skin looks it looks so much smoother and i'm still working on it because you have to keep up with it to sure to maintain or you not having strawberry skin and i i forgot to to mention some people say to exfoliate twice a week once a month and that too much exfoliation is gonna be too harsh on the skin or whatever but i exfoliate every other day and i've had no issues so far just when you're exfoliating don't go too hard be gentle on your skin because obviously if you do it vigorously you can cause damage to your skin and we don't want to cause any damages we want to improve our skin so yeah guys that's, that's it from me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up leave a comment in the comment section let me know if you've got strawberry skin if you'd like to share that with me anyway let me know if you've had strawberry skin and what you did to get rid of your strawberry skin and you know just let me know how i did in the comment section it goes a long way also give me suggestions as to what videos you guys would like to see from me and of course if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and subscribe and turn that post notification bell on so you will be notified when i upload my next video until next time bye